Hi, my name is Donna Bryant and I work for Johnson Matthey up in Devon, Massachusetts and am currently the Young Professional Committee Chair. I'm here today to interview Victoria Muir, who is the inaugural recipient of the Podar Award for Rising Chemical Engineers. This award was just started by Shamal and Susmita Podar to recognize um, up-and-coming um, newly graduated chemical engineers to highlight how they have contributed to AICG as well as society and chemical engineering as a whole. And it also helps to highlight um, engineers that show a big potential for their future. Victoria Muir is a PhD candidate at the University of Pennsylvania where her research ends up focusing on developing hydrogel biomaterials toward mu uh, musculoskeletal um, tissue repair and regeneration. She has received both an NSF fellowship and a Tau Beta Pi fellowship for her graduate education. Outside of, of school, she engages in K-12 STEM activities as in a frequent guest scientist um, in many of the museums and, lo and community centers. Victoria is also on the AICG Young Professional Committee and is the K-12 Outreach um, Committee um, member. So, Victoria, congratulations on your award. Yeah, thank you so much. I know you're pretty excited about it. Yes, absolutely. It is such an incredible honor. So, thank you so much for having me here today. So, a couple questions for you. Sure. So, when you were a student, I know that you were very involved in AICG at the University of Delaware. Yeah. So, tell me about your AICG activities now. Sure. So, yeah, as Donna mentioned, I was very involved all four years of my undergraduate studies at the University of Delaware. And when I was graduating as a senior, I wanted to look for opportunities to stay involved in AICHE. So I joined the Young Professionals Committee uh, about two years ago now. And last year, I served as the K-12 Outreach Chair for the Young Professionals Committee, where I organized a session for the spring annual meeting on K-12 outreach, as well as a webinar for the local sections on engaging in K-12 outreach in their local communities. Uh, this past year, I served as the annual student conferences chair, so I organized a session on graduate school and a session on financial planning for the undergraduate student conference. And I've also been a K-12 outreach committee member for the past year, where we've been organizing the first annual K-12 STEM showcase, which will be happening at the fall annual meeting uh, in 2019 here in Orlando, and I'm so excited to see how this event pans out. I'm excited to see about yeah. it as well. <laughs> so besides being active within AICG, what other, how, how other ways do you promote engineering within your community? Absolutely. Uh, so I do not come from a science and engineering background. The reason that I got interested in STEM was because as a young kid in Wilmington, Delaware, I went to local museums and community centers and participated in camps and saw all these volunteers and their enthusiasm for science and engineering. So for the past five years or so, I've been very involved in my local community in Wilmington, Delaware, putting on STEM outreach events a couple times a month usually. So I am a guest scientist at a local museum, the Delaware Museum of natural history where I put together science demonstrations for uh, kids of all ages and adults too that like to come and learn about science and engineering. Uh, and I've also been very involved in the Miss Delaware Scholarship Organization, uh, which is the leading provider of college scholars college scholarships for women in the state of Delaware. And with that organization, over the past two years, I've spent over 100 hours doing community service projects promoting young girls in science and engineering. That is very impressive. It's a lot of fun. I absolutely love it. Yeah. So how is your experience as a distinguished um, leader in AICG, how has that um, influenced your day-to-day -day activities and your day-to-day -day work? Yeah, so I think uh, when I look back to my like undergraduate education and graduate education, it was very heavy, heavily technically focused, right? Mm -hmm. So we're developing these chemical engineering skills. And I really sought to look towards being involved in AICHE to kind of fill that gap in professional development and building soft skills and networking. So I would say one of the main advantages of being a part of AICHE as a young professional and you know throughout your lifetime is that you get to meet all of these leaders and role models in networking from 
um, chemical engineering field all across the world. And meeting and engaging with these people, I think, has really given me a sense of thinking about career development almost on a daily basis. So when I'm in lab, pipetting up and down and doing tissue culture and all sorts of things, I'm also trying to be forward thinking about career advancement in meeting my career goal of becoming a chemical engineering professor. So that's something that AICG has given me and I'm really excited to continue involvement in the institute and grow with this organization. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, congratulations again, Victoria. Yes, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for talking to us today about how this PODAR Award for Rising Chemical Engineers, like how you are so qualified for it and what you are, what your future ends up looking like. Well, thank you so much. I'm so honored to have received this award this year. So thank you so much. Mm -hmm.